Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about Python and AI. Python is a super popular and cool programming language, especially in the world of artificial intelligence. Let's take a closer look at why Python is so awesome for AI and let's look some important tools that make it even more powerful. Golajka is here to help you succeed in your career journey. Our programs lead by expert instructors and are designed to equip you with the skills you need to excel. What's more, uh, we provide study materials for free, ensuring that learning is accessible to all. But it's not just about our materials. We are here to support you every step of the way. Our team is always ready to answer questions and offer guidance. When you join Golajika, you become part of a supportive community where ideas flow and connections are made. If you are ready to take your career to the next level, our expert advisors are on hand to assist you. Whether you are aiming for a promotion or looking to learn new skills, we will work with you to create a personalized plan for your success. At Golajika, your success is our priority. We are not just an educational institution. We are your partners in growth. Join us and let's unlock a future full of opportunities together. Now let's move into the program. Introduction to Python for AI. This session gets you started with the basics of Python for artificial intelligence. We will cover the essentials to give you a strong foundation for AI learning. Then we will moving into basics of machine learning with Python. Machine learning basics using Python will be explored here. You will learn about algorithms, preparing data and how to evaluate models. Next one is deep learning with Python. Discover the world of deep learning, a part of machine learning that deals with advanced algorithms and neural networks. This session teaches you how to build and train neural networks using Python. And then we, are, we will moving to NLP with Python, natural language processing. It's about making computers understand human language. In this part, we will see how Python can be used for tasks like analyzing sentiments and translating languages. The next one is Python libraries. Python has many useful libraries for AI and ML. We will cover important ones like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and Scikit-learn. You will see how these libraries are important for AI projects. Lastly, we will talk about the exciting future of Python in AI. From new deep learning advancement to upcoming trends in NLP. We will explore where the field is going and how you can be a part of it. Think of Python as a friendly language that's easy to understand and write. It's kind of like talking to the computer in a way it understands. Python is known for being simple and readable, which makes it perfect for beginners and experts alike. When you are working on AI projects, you want a language that lets you focus on the ideas and not get bogged down in complicated code. So Python is perfect for that. Now let's discuss why Python for AI. Python is the go-to language for AI because of all the cool stuff it offers. There are tons of libraries specially made for machine learning, data analysis and understanding human language. These libraries save a ton of time and make it way easier to build smart AI systems. Now let's discuss about Python libraries for AI. The first one is NumPy. The second one is Pandas. The third one is TensorFlow and then fourth one is Keras and then fifth is Scikit-learn and then finally the last one is NLTK. Now discuss it deeply. NumPy, this is like a superhero for numbers. When you are dealing with lots of data, NumPy helps handle it all. It provides support for arrays matrices and high level mathematical functions to operate on this arrays. The pandas, imagine having a magic pad to deal with data. That's pandas. It offers data structures like data frame for handling structured data and tools for data cleaning, reshaping and analysis. 
Next one is TensorFlow. This one's like the brain of many AI systems. This is developed by Google. And then TensorFlow lets you build and train all kinds of smart models from recognizing images to understanding human speech. It's a big player in the world of deep learning and it is designed for building, training and deploying deep learning models. TensorFlow offers flexibility with its high level and low level APIs. Now take a look on Keras. If TensorFlow is the brain, then Keras is like the friendly assistant. It makes building and training AI models much easier. You can think of it as the bridge between your ideas and the powerful TensorFlow engine. The next one is Scikit-learn. Scikit-learn is a machine learning library built on NumPy, SciPy and Matplotlib. Scikit-learn has all sorts of tools for things like classifying data, predicting outcomes and figuring out patterns in data. It's a great starting point for many AI projects. Now take a look on NLTK. For AI that understands human language, NLTK is the go-to packed with tools for working with text. Things like breaking down sentences, finding meanings and understanding context. So if you are building a chatbot or analyzing tweets, NLTK is your friend. These libraries are like having a bunch of superpowers in your programming toolbox. They make it possible to build smart systems that can do things like recognizing cats in pictures, predict the weather or translate languages. So Python and its libraries are the secret source behind many amazing AI projects. These libraries, among others, form the backbone of Python's dominance in AI development. Whether you are working on image recognition, predictive modeling, sentiment analysis or language translation, Python and its libraries provide the tools and flexibility needed to bring AI projects to life. Now we are moving into machine learning. Machine learning is a powerful field of study that involves teaching computers to learn from data and make decisions or predictions without being explicitly programmed for every task. Let's explore the types of machine learning and some basic algorithms using Python. The first one is supervised learning. What is it? A supervised learning involves teaching the computer using labeled data. This means the training data has examples with both input and the correct output. The goal is for the model to learn a mapping from inputs to outputs. So when it sees new unseen data, it can predict the correct output. For example, if we have a data set of images with labels like cat or dog, the model can learn to classify new images it hasn't seen before. Then second one is unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning works with unlabeled data. This means the algorithm tries to find patterns or groupings in the data without any predefined output. The main goal of the model is to learn to group similar data points together or discover hidden structures within the data. For example, clustering is a common unsupervised learning task. If we have a data set of customer purchase histories, the model might find groups of customers with similar buying patterns. The last one is reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is about training an agent to make decisions in an environment. The agent learns by interacting with the environment and receiving rewards or penalties for its action. Now we are going to understand the concept of deep learning and neural networks. Let's start by explaining deep learning. Imagine teaching a computer to learn and make decisions like the human brain does. That's the magic of deep learning. At the heart of it are neural networks, which are inspired by the structure of our brains. This network consists of interconnected layers of neurons 
and they are the building blocks of deep learning. Let's explore some of the most popular deep learning framework in Python that make building and deploying neural networks much easier. The first is TensorFlow. This was developed by Google Brain. TensorFlow is a powerful and flexible framework used widely in both academia and industry. It provides a robust ecosystem for building, training and deploying machine learning models. TensorFlow is known for its scalability and efficiency in handling large-scale deep learning tasks. The second one is Keras. Keras is a user-friendly API that sits on top of TensorFlow, making it incredibly easy to build and experiment with neural network models. It offers a high-level abstraction for fast prototyping, allowing you to quickly create and train models without getting bogged down in implementation details. And then Keras is perfect for beginners and experts alike due to its simplicity and versatility. The next one is PyTorch. It was developed by Facebook's AI Research Lab. PyTorch has gained popularity for its dynamic computation graph and intuitive interface. It offers flexibility and ease of use, making it a favorite among researchers and developers. PyTorch's dynamic nature allows for more intuitive model building and debugging as the computational graph is created on the fly. Now let's look into basics of building and training neural networks using Python. Let's break down the process of building and training a neural network using Python. A first one is define the model. Here decide on the type and number of layers for your neural network and specify activation functions for each layer which determine how the neurons in each layer behave. The second one is compile the model. Before training, you need to compile the model with two key parameters. The first one is loss function. This is a measure of how well the model's predictions match the actual labels. Second one is optimizer. This is the algorithm used to adjust the weights of the neural network during training to minimize the loss. The third one is train the model. Feed the training data into the model along with the corresponding labels. The model adjusts its weight and biases using the optimizer and loss function to minimize the difference between its predictions and the actual labels. This process is repeated for a number of epochs like uh, iterations allowing the model to learn from the data. The fourth one is evaluate the model. Once the model is trained, it's time to evaluate its performance on unseen data. Use a separate set of test data to assess how well the model generalized to new unseen examples. Metrics such as accuracy, precision, recall or F1 score can be used to measure the model's performance. Now let's see examples of deep learning application. Let's put theory into practice with some examples. First up, we have image classification. Using deep learning, we can build models that recognize objects in images. For instance, we can train a model to distinguish between cats and dogs, just like that. Now, let's discuss about NLP with Python. NLP which stands for Natural Language Processing is a branch of artificial intelligence that focuses on making computers understand, interpret and generate human language. It enables computers to interact with humans in a natural and meaningful way. Second is Sentiment Analysis. Determining the sentiment like a positive, negative or neutral of a piece of text such as social media comments or product reviews. And then named entity recognition. 
identifying and classifying named entities in text such as names of people organization location or and so on text classification categorizing text into predefined categories or labels such as spam detection in emails or topic classification of news article machine translation translating text from one language to another automatically such as google translate and then speech recognition converting spoken language into text used in visual assistants like siri and alexa now take a look about python libraries for nlp nlp python library is the first one is nltk natural language toolkit nltk is one of the most popular libraries for nlp in python it provides tools and resources for tasks like tokenization stemming lemmatization pos tagging and more it's widely used for teaching and research in nlp due to its comprehensive documentation and educational materials The second one is Spazy. Spazy is a modern and efficient library for NLP tasks. It's designed for protection, use, and offers fast and accurate tokenization, named entity recognition, POS tagging, and dependency parsing. Spazy is known for its ease of use and performance, making it a favorite among developers working on NLP applications. Now take a look on future trends in AI and Python's role. AI can be used by everyone. More people will be able to use AI and it becomes easier to access and use. Python helps make AI accessible to more people because it's easy to learn and versatile. Understanding AI, making AI easier to understand is becoming more important. Python tools are being made to explain AI decision better. which helps people trust ai more ai and automation ai will keep changing how industries work like making things in factories or helping doctors diagnose diseases python has many tools for handling data and machine learning which are key for automation ai ethics and governance as ai grows there will be more focus on making sure it's used ethically and responsibly Python has tools for building AI that are fair, transparent and accountable. AI in healthcare and life sciences. AI will revolutionize healthcare and biology with things like faster drug discovery and personalized medicine. Python's libraries are helping this advancement, making it easier to analyze data and build AI models. Golagica is your go-to online learning platform for mastering AI, Python and much more. Whether you are a beginner looking to start your journey into the world of technology or an experienced professional aiming to enhance your skills, Golagica has something for everyone. With Golagica, you get access to a wide range of comprehensive courses in AI and Python. are uh, designed by a well experienced instructors these courses are tailored to provide you with a practical hands on experience ensuring you are ready to tackle the real world challenges what sets golagica apart it's its commitment to quality and excellence the platform offers interactive learning experiences engaging video lectures practical assignments and live projects You not only learn the theory, but also get the opportunity to apply your knowledge in real scenarios. So, if you are ready to take your skills to the next level, I highly recommend it. Checking out Golagica, explore the courses, and then dive into the world of AI and Python, and then embark on a journey of continuous learning and growth. Thank you for watching today's videos and remember with Golagica the possibilities are limitless. Don't forget to visit Golagica's website to learn more and start your learning journey today. Thank you.